guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to talk about something a little more, I guess, serious. And I might as well use my YouTube to talk to you guys because maybe some of you are going through the same problems. I just, I want to be real, you know? I want to show you the good and the bad. I don't want to be sugarcoating my life and making it seem like if I'm always happy because I'm not none of us are <sighs> but <sighs> I've been having rough nights <sighs> I feel like no matter how much attention and love and time that I give to my seven-year-old son, it's never enough. Never. I mean, I love my children to death, but honestly, I'll be the one to tell you, they're gonna, shh, 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 shh. they're gonna drive you crazy. Sometimes, sometimes you're not even gonna like them, honestly. I mean, some days, you know, I love them to death, but, some days I do not like my son. I do not understand where his attitude is coming from. It was such a fine day. It was okay. And then my son wanted to play card game. And I didn't want to play because it was already late. And I had already told him he was going to bed at 8.30. So he didn't want to go to bed at 8.30. He wanted to play a card game. So I said, you know what? Since he started behaving, I said, I'll make you a deal. You take a shower and then we'll play a quick card game. Okay, deal. So he goes, he takes a shower. And then my daughter takes a shower. And we play a card game. And he wants to play Uno. Because we just recently started playing card games. Because uh, we have a table. We used to not have a table. We just had like a like a countertop. No, it wasn't even a countertop. All we had was like a, a small round table. The one I'm at right now. But this one's now in my room. It used to be in the living room in our apartment. Or in between the living room and the kitchen. Because it was so small. So, um... We never got to, you know, play board games and stuff like that much unless they were on the carpet. So we wouldn't really bring out the cards and all that. So we just recently started playing Uno and my son wanted to play Uno. And he started, he was, we were having a good time and then he started getting mad because he wasn't, um, oh, and first of all, before all of that, he was giving me hell because he did not want to do his homework. It's always a fight. It's always a battle with his homework. I understand that all children are like that, but it's weird because when I was a child, I loved going to school. I looked forward to going to school. I was that little kid that would prepare my backpack a month before school with all my school supplies and I was so excited I loved the smell of school I loved being in school I just loved it maybe his school isn't the best or something because he does not always look forward to going but anyway so he did his homework and then like I said we were playing uno and he was doing just fine he was playing having a good time and we were picking on each other because I pick on people like I pick on him just playing around but I guess sometimes like he takes it too like too much so um yeah so he started getting mad because I kept giving him plus fours if you've played Uno I was giving him plus fours and plus twos because we're just joking around you know and he did it to me so I was getting him back and that's just how I play I'm a very playful person so I was just playing around and he kept getting mad. He was okay at first, but then he started getting mad because he kept getting more and he had Uno and he had to get more cards. And I was like, that's the point of the game, Isaac. Like, you're supposed to be patient and you're supposed to, like, be okay if you win or lose. Because he got mad that 
I think I I was gonna win and I had a plus two and I was gonna put in I was like, oh forget it, he's gonna get mad, you know, so I like let him win and he's seven years old, so I mean you let your kids win sometimes. So sometimes. <laughs> so um yeah, so everything was all good. She's tired. Everything was all good and then he started getting mad that the game took forever to finish and then we won. I mean, we finished. And then after that, he wanted to play goldfish. And I said, no, no goldfish. It's already time to take a shower and go to, I mean, to go to bed. And he said that he wanted um, to play goldfish, whatever. So, of course, I gave in. I let him play the Wii U for a little bit. And then I, while I bathed Sophia, and then... I gave in, and we played a game of goldfish all together, which my daughter's three. She doesn't know how to play, but we were just, I was, like, helping her, you know? So, um, yeah, so we were playing uh, goldfish, and um, instead of flipping the deck all over and, like, kept, keep, like, instead of playing more and more, like, by flipping the deck and going on... Um, we just like did what my husband did the other day and decided who wins is the one that has the most pairs, you know, cause you have to get pairs. So I had the most pairs and I won and he got all mad and he was like, I wanted to win. And I was like, okay, well you won because you had an even number cause he had four and I had nine. I said, you won cause you had an even number. And he said, no, I thought you said you win if you have more and I was like well I made the rules that and I like even numbers so you won like I was just you know trying to get him his way and he was still wasn't happy and then it was time for bed so we go to bed and then he wants a seat he wants a bedtime song and these past few days I've been frustrated because whenever I sing it's like no matter what I do He's not happy. He is not appreciative. He is manipulative sometimes. So, say like, okay, the songs that I sing lately are Over the Rainbow, um, The Colors of the Wind song, that's what they call it, and um, from Pocahontas. And that's it. Usually those are the two choices. So my daughter says, Over the Rainbow, and then... Isaac will say, no, I want Colors of the Wind. And then I'll start singing it. Okay, Colors of the Wind. Because I know he's going to have a cow if I don't sing that one. And Sophia will be okay. So I sing Colors of the Wind. And then he says, it's too long. No, not that one. I want the short one. I sing the short one. Oh, it's too short. Okay, I want I want this other one. So I sing that one. And then, and then like, okay, so tonight, that's just in general, right? Like every night, every single night. So then tonight, I was singing, because Sophia said, over the rainbow. And then Sophia said, I mean, Isaac said, okay, over the rainbow, yes. And he goes, does this thing, yes. And, and um, so I start singing over the rainbow. And I sing it, and while I'm singing it, I hear him under his breath saying, be quiet, be quiet. And I said, okay, I'll be quiet, because I am not going to be manipulated. I am, And I told him, I'm not a chess piece. I'm your mother. You're not going to tell me what to do. Like, what I say goes. I make the rules. Maybe it's because I'm so young, and, like, they don't think of me as, like, an older person that makes rules. But I'm his damn mother. I'm their damn mother, and uh, they're going to have to realize that. Even though I look young, yeah, I do look young. People think I'm, like, 16, 18. I'm 26, and I make the rules, damn it. <laughs> so, anyways. um, So, yeah. I'm feeling a little better. I needed this. Um, so, he wanted me to sing the long version, and I said, no, you were telling me to be quiet. No, I'm not going to sing anymore. Like, no, you, that's your that's your pro, that's your your fault because you were telling me to be quiet. I was telling Sophia. Sophia was not even talking. I even told him, Sophia was not even talking. You were talking to me. You were telling me to be quiet. I am not stupid. Like, I know, I mean... Yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm not stupid. I know you were saying it under your breath. And it's like, 
this seven-year-old, he can be such a sweetheart. But if he does not get his way, if he doesn't want to do something, he doesn't want to take a shower, he doesn't want to brush his teeth, he doesn't want to do his homework, things that he has to do, he doesn't want to go to school, whatever, then he'll raise hell. He'll raise hell until he gets his way. And that's not how it works with me. I'm sorry, but that's not how it works with me. I may, I'm, I can be a really fun mommy. I can be very playful, but I make the rules and that's it. So, and if you cross me, like, that's it. So what I did was I, um, she's so tired. Let me wrap this up so I can put her to sleep. Um, so I left the room. And I was so angry already because he's been doing it for night after night. And I had already told him, like, I'm not going to sing to you anymore. But I love him so much. I love my children so much. So I give in sometimes. I don't always give in. Don't think that I always give in because sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But, yeah. So, it's just ridiculous it's like every single night no matter how good the day goes or sometimes he comes home from school and he's in a really bad mood and maybe it's a seven-year-old thing like i've been looking up behaviors and it seems to be common for seven-year-olds to be bad like that because they're coming into their independence more and they feel like they can manipulate you and get their way but that's not how it works with me but anyways so yeah so I left the room to calm down and I come over here and they keep following me and my son is at the door whining because I locked the door because I was putting Aaliyah to sleep my baby and I locked the door and I know he's right there and Sophia's not even there crying like he is acting like a little two-year-old when he's gonna be seven on March 6th so so yes um it was just horrible. And then when I go in the room, because he never stops, I admit, I spanked him. Uh, I, I don't believe that spanking all the time is okay, but I do feel like it, it's okay if it's necessary. And it's definitely necessary with my seven-year-old sometimes. So I barely ever spank them, but when I do, I spank them because they're misbehaving and it's not necessarily to hurt them but it's to give teach them a lesson but uh you know i also do timeouts and i also do taking away their video games and stuff like it just it's just an endless cycle so anyways uh yeah so i spank him and just like last night i spanked him last night too because it was the same exact thing and i'm like at my wits end so I spank him and my daughter goes, no, 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 spank him. Like defending him when I did nothing. He's the one that started acting like a brat. I don't understand why she defends. I mean, I know it's her brother. Yes, it's her brother who plays with her sometimes. But like, I'm her mother. And I give whatever. Anyways, so yeah, so she goes to like defend him and they, no, no spank him, no spank him. And she hits me, so I spank her. And I didn't even spank her that hard. She's three years old, but I spanked her. And it was on her diaper and it was all diaper. You just hear the p from the diaper. So yeah, it's just a nightmare. And then I come back here over here and I lock it again because I don't want to spank them again. Like I'm like trying to calm down and. Here he comes again, laying right here. I can be here all night. I can be here all night. I'll do anything for another chance. I gave him so many chances. I give him so many chances every night. Like, I'm sorry if this is a vent, but it's it's like a release. And, you know, I guess if, if you're not a mother or if you don't care about this stuff, then you can click out. It might be a little long. And I'm sorry that it's venting, but I'm not sorry that I'm showing a real part of me because I can be really happy and cheery. And But then a dark cloud is on top of my rainbow 
Like that's just it's just life. So um yeah. I guess that's it. I, I feel calmer. I thought I was gonna be crying the whole video because I'm so stressed out. I could just drink a whole freaking bottle of wine and then just knock the hell out. <laughs> but I can't because I'm breastfeeding. And yeah. Shh, <coughs> and another thing is I'm getting over being sick and this is not helping making y'all stressed so yeah that's it just wanted to get that off my chest and if there's other mothers that are struggling I would love for you to comment below and let me know your struggles what you did about them is seven year is being a seven year old just full of attitude i just don't know my mom says that i was an angel until i was like 12 but i don't know maybe she doesn't remember i mean she had four kids and i want four kids but that's it then i close shop forget that four is enough four is enough <laughs> Okay, well, I'm trying to put this little sweetheart to bed. I love you. And then, like, I question myself as a mother, and I think, do I give my son enough love and attention? Is it because I have to split myself into three because I have three children? Actually, four because my husband. I mean, is that... Like, I question it. Like, am I not giving him enough love and attention? Is it because he's the oldest and he gets the least amount of love and attention? I don't know. But I think about it, and I honestly do give them a lot of love and attention as much as I can. I am stressed. I am giving them all that I have. I am tired physically and emotionally, and I'll never change it for the world. I appreciate, I love being a mother. I love it so much. I love the good days. I don't love the bad days, but they come with it. They come with it. And if you have children, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't have children, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not always butterflies and rainbows. <laughs> That's for damn sure. And, um... I just love you guys so much and the people that talk to me in my comments like I really appreciate you you know sympathizing or telling me your experiences I'm just I love my viewers I love my subscribers I love my channel I'm glad to be back filming videos like I said I'm sorry this is such a long video um but this is my heart on a sleeve here this is my baby Lilies. This is my baby Lilies. I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. And I don't think. I don't know. I just. I just don't know. I start a day really good and then it ends up bad. Or I start a day good and the rest of the day is good. And then the night's bad. It's just. Life. <laughs> I'm just stressed and I'm a stay-at-home mother I don't care what people think and say oh stay-at-home mother living the dream right yeah it's a dream to be with my children I love it but it is just as much of a job as a regular job that is getting paid I honestly believe that I've been a stay-at-home mom for how long mama how long I don't know like two or three years and it's just as much work, if not more, than a regular job. But I'm looking for a job. Um, my husband wants me to look for a job so we can have combined income. He's been wanting me to find a job for a long time. But honestly, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm freaking Einstein or anything. But I think I'm way smarter than the jobs that are available. It's just like restaurant jobs. And I'm sure a lot of people are wasting away their intelligence at 
mediocre jobs. But, I mean, you gotta provide an income for your family, right? And I think, I don't know, I'm thinking that having a job away will be like, I don't know, just time away. Not that I want to get away forever, but even just going to the grocery store is like a vacation. Oh, thank you for pulling my hair, mama. A shower is a freaking luxury. <laughs> Getting to put on my makeup is a party. <laughs> no, but seriously. Like, I just... I feel better. I feel better. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm just rambling on and on about life, parenting, just everything in general. And I wish I could go back to school, but it's really hard with this little baby. Like, she's breastfeeding. So if I go back to get a, like, if I get a job, right? If I get a job, then I'm going to have to, well, usually when I have a job and I'm breastfeeding, I have to supplement with formula. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with formula. But in my opinion, my personal humble opinion, everybody may have their own opinion, but mine is that breastfeeding is the best thing for our children. When it comes to bonding, when it comes to nutrition, everything. I just honestly like support breastfeeding all the way. All I have with all my children. So to take away breastfeeding and to give formula like would break my heart even even just real quick like just to make one that first formula bottle like it makes me sad because i could be giving her all of my nutrition and whenever i oh you're sick you're a dumb mama whenever i go back to work i start my milk like i get less milk because i can't pump as much because it's like a restaurant job that's what I worked at Chili's and Denny's so they didn't let me pump as much at Denny's I pumped more because they were nicer about it uh the other host but at Chili's no they were pretty I did pump but it was like secretly and it sucked to like do it secretly and at Denny's I got to do it on my lunch break and at Chili's I didn't have a lunch break but at Denny's I hated working there <laughs> and at Chili's I enjoyed it and I was there for almost three years so yeah more about myself that you guys don't know I think um so I don't know I just and then my mom offered me some kind of like i don't know some schooling program to become a teacher and i thought about that too to be a teacher but an english teacher or a writing teacher and then my <coughs> husband thought about becoming a math teacher because we could get a good income on it but i also don't want to settle and not follow my other education of becoming a journalist and a photographer and i'm not giving up on modeling but i'm putting it on hold that's for sure maybe i'll have a photo shoot here and there like every couple of months but that's about it okay well she's really tired i'm gonna go i love you guys and if you watch this video to the end I really appreciate it. I love you very, very much. Um, I hope you subscribe. I hope I can, if you're new, I hope I can meet new subscribers. Subscribers, I messed up. I hope I can talk to you. I love to communicate. I would love if you guys would follow my Snapchat. Um, I'll make a separate video on my Snapchat so that you guys can follow me on Snapchat. Because if I'm not on YouTube at the moment, I'm on Snapchat. <laughs> um, Snapchat's short and fun and spontaneous. I just love it. Okay. So that's about it. I feel better. I needed to release that. It's just like writing. Oh, she's falling asleep on my chest. It's just like writing for me. Like, it's a release. It is a release. I was going to wait till my husband got home and cry in his arms. But 
now I feel better. I had to talk about it. And if you have a seven year old or a six year old that has attitude, let me know because, whoo, my boy, he's like me when I was a teenager, which was really bad, in a seven year old's body, which is pretty darn difficult. <laughs> um, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Okay, 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 okay. We're going. We're going, Mama. We're going. And please don't think that I'm hating being a mother or I'm, you know, like thinking about giving up on my children or anything like that. Hell no. I am their mother. And I will continue to do whatever it takes to make all of us happy as much as we can. You know, not it's not gonna be all the time. That's just that's just life, man. Okay. Well, you can tell that I'm starting to return to my normal state. Um I've said it a million times, but I love you guys. And let me know what kind of videos you would like to see next. Uh, I might film a get ready with me soon or a hair tutorial. Um, I've been pretty lazy with my curls. I don't detangle them that much. And they are long. But, um, like, I detangle them, like, once a week, once or twice a week. I used to detangle them, like, every day. So, every other day. Well, whatever. Okay. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Like I said, let me know what you would like to see. And I will get to rolling. <laughs> All right. See you in the next video. Bye, sleepyhead. Okay, okay, okay. Mama.